Hi folks, my name is Howard Long and uh, this is a quick introduction to the Funcube Dongle Pro Plus. Uh, here's the unit um, in all its glory. Uh, this is uh, I think serial number one as it goes. To give you an idea of the size, I'm going to put a, uh, a dime by it, sorry, not a dime, a quarter by it. And uh, so you can see the size of the of the unit. It's exactly the same size as the old Funcube Dongle, so if you've seen one of those before um, I'm sure it'll uh, it'll be familiar to you. So I've got it rigged up here uh, through a USB lead and then I've got an external antenna which uh, is um, sitting uh, a few metres away. And uh, sorry I haven't really done much to clear up, this is my uh, funky dongle central here and uh, this is uh, where I, I sit and, and fix dongles and make dongles. So uh, also I, just here I've got, uh, if I can zoom in a little bit, this is uh, a funky dongle Pro Plus which um, I've taken the, uh, the lid off and uh, you can see in there that uh, there's quite a bit of uh, electronics in there and in fact if I uh, turn it the other way up you'll see that in addition there's even more on the other side so in total there's 240 parts on uh, uh, separate parts on, on the Funky Dongle Pro Plus and um, it's, uh, it's taken quite a long time to get to this position and to get all, all those parts on we've had to go to a six layer board so um, I'm just going to show you actually working. So what I have here is uh, I have something a program called SDR Sharp, uh, which is a, a demodulation program which you can um, download from the internet. Uh, it's a free program, and it's also open source, I believe. So uh, if you like dabbling and hacking and that kind of thing, then uh, I can assure you it's an excellent place to start. And um, in addition to that, you'll also see up here. Um, that there's a little control program. This is the uh, similar to the original control program that uh, I had the original Funcube dongle, and uh, this one's been adapted for the Funcube dongle plus. And uh, anyway, so uh, without much further ado, I guess we should start. So you can see I'm set up to 7.1 megahertz up there, and uh, so when I um, start the uh, SDR Sharp software. Um, we should be seeing a little bit of uh, activity here, and sure enough, um, you can see things uh, the, the uh, spectrum and also the uh, waterfall there. And uh, I'm just going to switch the speaker on. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit to uh, to wake up. There we go. So this is on uh, 40 meters, so this will be about 7.15 megahertz. And, uh, there we go. And you, can, you can just move the uh, move it around. Let's put it all somebody tuning up there. I think a little bit more SSB, and as we go down the band, a really neat thing here that you can do is uh, if you want to narrow down the. Uh, the filter you can do it on the fly. There's another bit of CW here. There we go. Okay, so that's um, that's 40 meters. So uh, let's see what else we can do. So I'm going to uh, zip up now to uh, see if there's anything on 77. It's a bit quiet around here, but we'll we'll give it a go. So let's go to uh, 433 300. And let's see. Oh, there's a few carriers on there. Uh, there was somebody actually talking a moment ago, but of course, just as I want to. Uh, yeah, nobody talking there anymore. Okay, let's uh, drop down to two meters, and we'll go to um, a local beacon that uh, I can receive here in uh, in London. So I'm just going to move on to here. This is the Roten beacon. I'm just picking up on a vertical here. There you go. So um, that's a bit of luck. <laughs> Doesn't normally do a CWID on demand like that, but it did on this occasion. So there's two meters, and uh, let's see if we can see what's going on on broadcast band. So I'm going to put it to my local uh, talk radio station here, and I'm going to switch SDR sharp to yeah, wide band. Thank you for making the complaint in the first place. So 
Um, I think both of those things Beautiful, uh, are crisp true, FM. but uh, I think that they're getting great confidence as they see the authorities like the Football Association and the courts taking and, these things um, increasingly seriously. I mean, it, it, Let's it have a go with Airband as well. So I'm going to this case in switch us on to 120.4 for him to do. And like this, and I'm going to switch to AM, and there we go. This is, um, in fact, my uh, the London Heathrow approach. And uh, as you can see, it's um, quite versatile. So let's really check out the versatility. I'm going to drop down there to uh, what we call in the UK medium wave. So um, that's at about one megahertz. And uh, as you can see here, there's some, so if I move over here, there's a um, local community station, I guess this is. And here's another one. As you can see there, this is 192 kilohertz wide, so you can go across the whole spectrum like that very easily. And uh, let's be really, really bold, and let's go down to what we call long wave here, which is LF. And uh, just here, we, this is um, going to reduce the bandwidth a little bit. So you can do either by typing in or just. This is uh, Radio 4 Longwave here in the United Kingdom. So that's uh, an example of what you can do uh, just on uh, broadcast band and amateur frequencies with the Funky Dongle Pro Plus. And hopefully, that's a quick introduction. And uh, thank you very much for listening.